a huge number of fans of the Toyota brand of cars were looking forward to the appearance of this particular 300th Land Cruiser series called GR Sport. JR Sport. First of all, because this front of the car is a reference to the legendary LC 40th series or LC 60th series of 1984. Of course, I'm hinting at the presence of this Toyota inscription, which replaced the logo. Toyota loves these references to the good old days, when cars were real, dirt was original, and a lot depended not only on the capabilities of the car, but also on your own skills. And that's why I also really like this retro logo and reference to the Land Cruiser 40 and Land Cruiser 60 of 1984. And here I am even ready to argue that most likely by 1984, because the 40th model at that time had not yet completely left the shadow of Willis's glory. But today we are not only testing the Land Cruiser GR Sport. Today we will try to compare it with the premium version, which was created more for driving on the highway, driving for the city and in order to emphasize the high status of the owner of this car. Status владельца этого автомобиля. And now I will talk briefly about, what is the difference between GR Sport and premium? Of course, these are different bumpers, a different grille, Toyota inscription, wheel arch linings, GR and GR Sport inscriptions, as well as other rims. And, of course, now many of you will say, Raul, what does Sport mean on such a huge SUV? Friends, my answer is very simple. In fact, chess, boxing and rally are all sports. And I think that Toyota, when they write sport on their off-road car, first of all means traffic, when you carefully transfer your land cruiser from the swamp to some impenetrable gorge during the day. Why were the bumpers changed? This is obvious to every car enthusiast. The fact is that the GR Sport is a more off-road version, so the attack angles of this version are much better than the premium version which is designed to drive on asphalt, drive on the highway, and, quite right, demonstrate financial viability. And the status of the owner of that same premium sport. Premium. JR Sport это тоже статус? But the status of an athlete is the status of a person who loves to go off-road. It is the status of an adventurer, a duelist and a bully. The cruiser has an excellent LED light, it can automatically switch to high and low beams. But at the same time, Lexus, of course, has not yet given its bladder scan technology to the Land Cruiser, for one simple reason. Yes, yes, they have already presented the Lux version, which will have bladder scan technology, and due to the fact that the Land Cruiser is still a cheaper version, so it's just a good automatic light. Toyota is very wary of the term planned aging when it comes to their version of the Land Cruiser. Это касается их версии Land Cruiser. The fact is that they upgrade this car only at the moment when they have a new offer or when sales fall catastrophically. Продажи падают катастрофически. Land Cruiser 200 lasted 14 years on the assembly line. This is impossible to believe. Usually competitors can change their model three times during this time, and now I'm not talking about phase lifting but about the fact that they create generation after generation. I will repeat once again that the Japanese with the 200th model lasted 14 years on the assembly line until they decided that it was time to do something. What does this mean? What changes have we received in this car? First, a new platform. Naturally, here is a new improved frame. It's stronger, it's lighter, it's more efficient, it's more functional on twisting. And in the most positive way, this frame will affect the behavior of the car. Secondly, the body of this car is almost half made of aluminum. All of these exterior panels, except for the rear fenders, are aluminum. And the car, having received more options, as well as electronic assistance, became lighter and at the same time the center of gravity of the car shifted lower. And all this thanks to the fact that ultra-light materials were used. 
well, of course, the frame of this car is steel. Regarding the size of the car has become longer and the car has become a little wider. But in fact, you are unlikely to feel it inside, in the cabin, because the dimensions are approximately the same. Huge thanks to Toyota for leaving this dainty, fuller, on the hood. Yes, I know that the, fuller, acts as a stiffener on the knife. Just like this curve on the hood of this car. I even once heard such a story from representatives of Toyota that this recess was specially made so that you could see a gnome on the road and save him. We can talk about this for a long time. But today we will also check out what this car can actually do. And in the new cruiser, Toyota installed some incredible amount of electronics. I even got the impression that this is what caused the semiconductor crisis in the Land Cruiser. And the other side of the coin is that from time to time you will become a participant in the show, Rise of the Machines. When your Jeep brakes, slows down, dodges oncoming and passing vehicles and keeps you very stubbornly in the lane. In most cases, this will be an overreaction of the car to an imaginary threat. But one day it will save your life and keep the car in a saleable condition. I'm sure of it because we tested the automatic emergency braking system. Here is a situation where I am driving a car at a speed of up to 30 km per hour. Toyota itself recognizes the threat, understands that there is a car in front and slows down without the participation of the driver. On the second try, I simply activate the smart cruise control and repeat the exercise. Toyota on cruise control understands that the driver is out of the game and it seems that all senses and radars are activated. As a result, it stops much earlier. Everything is safer and more comfortable. The third attempt is the most difficult for the current level of mobility. We simulate a traffic flow in which the vehicle in front suddenly changes lanes and an obstacle in your own lane appears in front of you. Usually all that remains in such cases is to rely on the reaction of the driver and good brakes. In the case of the Land Cruiser, keep hoping for a good reaction, because he failed in this exercise. This really happens, he is not alone. And passing through the valley of the shadow of death, yes, I will not be afraid of evil, because you are with me and your Toyota and this calms me. This is how a prayer would have sounded in Aramaic at the time of Jesus Christ, if the Toyota Land Cruiser already existed then. By the way, there are still enough places in the world where electric doors or monitors in 4K resolution will not make any impression on alligators or lions. When the engine overheats or the suspension breaks, all this pathos disappears. All you have to do is fight off these alligators with a crystal crowbar with a built-in hooker. And I will say right away that it is inefficient. The paradox of the Land Cruiser 300 lies in the fact that 90% of buyers in Ukraine will purchase this large, heavy and powerful SUV precisely because of pathos and for medical reasons. Pathos has its uses. On the road, other cars and minibuses respect you even in berserk mode, and the inferiority complex eventually transforms into megalomania. In addition, you should not think that the capital of our endless motherland is a very safe place. It is the land cruiser with a fording height of 70 centimeters that will save you during another flood in the parking lot of a premium shopping center in Kiev. It is the land cruiser that will save you when a pipe with hot water breaks in one of the squares. The asphalt leaves under the wheels and you find the tomb of Vitaly Klitschko with his terracotta deputies. When driving around a traffic jam in Troishchina or along the water meadows of the onboard aeration station, this car is generally priceless. An important part of the Land Cruiser's value and an important part of this vehicle's charm is, of course, the road credibility. You are respected on the road, they let you pass on the road, you are treated with understanding when you slightly violate the rules of the road. People see what you need. People understand that this person would not have behaved this way without need. Yes, of course, such a car very often gives a feeling of impunity. 
Because the total weight is 2,600 kg. Because your car accelerates to 100 km per hour in less than 7 seconds. And the size of this car is no less than a minibus, and sometimes even more. The new Land Cruiser is as elegant as the Soviet Locomotive 28. On this giant chrome grille, the stylish boy on an electric scooter will look like a modest logo. And most importantly, it will get quite comfortably through half the city. Nevertheless, the Japanese chrome Godzilla is still far from the cocaine nostrils of the Bavarian SUVs. But if you remember the famous red parquet in Camry, even the masters who invented the Ekabana can blunder. In both versions, the Land Cruiser received just an excellent interior. In the premium, it's beige, just absolutely yum yum appetizing. And in the GR Sport model, the tones are simpler, our interior is conditionally black, well, because after all this is an off-road car and it would probably be stupid to order a light, white or beige interior color for yourself. Land Cruiser got a great interior. It even has ventilation for the front and rear seats. Too bad there is no steering wheel ventilation. When at a speed of 140 km I need to smoothly enter a turn or overtake this option is sorely lacking, and my palms treacherously sweat. Here we again return to the main thing in this car, faith. I don't mean weight distribution, electrically adjustable shock absorbers, stabilizers, smart electronics or permanent four-wheel drive. No, I was talking about true faith, when, without seeing a turn, you're already starting to make a turn. I don't know how a turn of faith would be in Japanese, but in the Bible it is described by the phrase and by death, trample down death. The first days after each successful maneuver, you experience a catharsis. The moral cleansing reaches its peak a week later, when you easily shrug off the diabolical promptings to buy yourself a Tuareg V8 just to go into corners at a speed of 200. Through faith, you become meek, like the first Christians in the lion's pit, and the veil falls from your eyes. The turn of faith is for neophytes. Real adherents profess straight faith. For there are no turns in the Land Cruiser's system of values. Turns are needed for cars that do not have enough power to go straight. Land Cruiser, thanks to an incredibly strong frame and permanent all-wheel drive, a mechanical Thorson differential lock and a spring suspension that works like pneumatic power. Therefore, if the asphalt goes to the right or left, this is not a cause for concern at all. For a while, you won't even realize that you are driving at the same speed, 140, and there is no asphalt under the wheels. The most interesting thing is that if I, other bloggers, journalists and people far from the automotive industry, said in unison that the Land Cruiser 300 is a disgusting car, don't buy it, then all this would in no way affect the sales of this car, because that the queue for the purchase of this car has lasted for more than one year. And it's not just a semiconductor problem, it's also a hype for this truly legendary car. In part, I understand and feel very well why people want to buy this car. Between ourselves, I would also buy myself a GR Sport. The car is good and very interesting, while it looks very cool. The Japanese have done some incredible, grandiose work on the bugs. First, their rock art has improved. Secondly, normal monitors appeared here. This is a very cool camera. 360 degree camera. This is a very clear camera. And a camera that shows you what is happening around you when you get off road. You do not need to lean out of the window and see what is under the left wheel, what is under the right wheel, what is under the front bumper, because this very camera, with the help of powerful processes, literally cuts the car out of reality and shows you the maximum of what is happening around. The car has modern options. This is primarily Android Auto, Apple CarPlay and, of course, keyless entry with a start button, which has additional protection. This button reads your fingerprint, so don't be surprised if the garage manager at the Enterprise has a real bunch of index fingers, because there is no other way to start the car. In fact, I'm lying right now. For conservatives, the option remains when you turn off this fingerprint reading mode and use the car in the same way as you did 20, 30 or 70 years ago.
Now you see on the screen a summary table of the types of motors that are provided for the premium version, and which motors for the GR Sport, as well as the characteristics and types of automatic transmissions. In Land Cruiser you will not get air suspension in any configuration. Adherents of Toyota claim that this is done so that the car is as reliable as possible. At the same time, I am ready to confirm that in fact this spring suspension is as comfortable as the pneumatic one. And most of my passengers, when they drove this car for several kilometers, said in the affirmative that pneumatics work great in Toyota. And this despite the fact that there are no pneumatics here. At the same time, of course, Toyota adherents are cunning when they say that they wanted to make this very suspension as reliable as possible. The fact is that there is another car model called the Lexus Lux. It has already been presented, and for some reason there are pneumatics there. While I'm sure Lexus aficionados will say look, we've made the world's most reliable pneumatics, just take our word for it. And I believe. And I also understand that if the Land Cruiser of the 300 series would get pneumatics, then the Lexus Lux would have one less argument. And I also understand that Toyota does not like to make less money than planned. Well, we certainly tested the all-wheel drive system on the stands. Naturally, for the Land Cruiser, especially in the GR configuration, our exercises are just a trifle. But there must be order in everything, and for the audience this is a clear demonstration. What is this money paid for? By the way, I guarantee that the conditionally urban Land Cruiser leaves our stands no less spectacularly. Although there are never too many blocking systems to overcome real off-road. And in GR they installed everything that is possible. I don't even know what tuning enthusiasts will do. When testing the torque, an incomprehensible situation was created where we do not exactly see what is happening up to 2,500 revolutions per minute. The torque converter is still slipping there. It only locks up somewhere in the 2,600 range. So it looks like the car is delivering the promised torque. Only we can't measure it properly. As for some stage 1 or stage 2 and so on, no one has made them yet. But I dare to assume that we will get a value of about 350 horsepower. And in terms of torque, the same thing, that is, at the beginning we will get about 900 moments. Again, this is just a guess. What can I say about the chart itself? Power is standard throughout the entire operating range and about all the torque from below. I would say everything is great. The history of the Land Cruiser is also the history of duplication of components and assemblies. Because the developer of Toyota Land Cruiser himself said that in this generation we tried to build the best, most reliable and most modern equivalent SUV. Therefore, we duplicated some options and units so that we do not lose reliability. Here is an example of steering. The power steering is still preserved here, but the Japanese also added more electric power. What for? In order to implement many security systems, keeping the car in the lane, and so on, and so on, and so on. However, they do not quite believe that this electric booster is more reliable than hydraulic. So when your electric booster fails in the desert, you still have a hydraulic system that will allow you to turn the steering wheel in a car that weighs 2,600 kilograms. It seems to me that such a precaution is absolutely not superfluous. Especially when we are talking about conservative customers of the Toyota brand. We can also trace the duplication of systems in the car interior itself. Here, we have a large and beautiful color monitor. Here, we have the climate controls on the big color monitor. At the same time, just below you see buttons that duplicate all this. 
And of course I like these very buttons more, because they are easier to switch, you have quick feedback. For example, if you are wearing gloves or work gloves, then you can press these buttons, but this screen with a touch screen will look like an absolutely useless trinket for you. The premium cabin and the GR interior are almost identical, but here, however, you can see the GR logo on the steering wheel, and you can also see the GR logo on the seat headrests. And if you look at the car control unit, you will understand that there is not only a choice of driving mode, but also there are additional buttons in the GR. Which activate not only the center differential lock, but in turn you can turn on the front differential lock or rear differential lock. This is generally an amazing thing, because you can see such a large number of locks at the same time only in tuning cars, but not in production cars. With both premium and GR, you can find electrically adjustable dampers, and GR also active stabilizers that adjust each axle separately. Thus, when you go off-road and diagonal hanging threatens you, these wheels are pressed to the ground for as long as possible and these same stabilizers contribute to this. The developers claim that thanks to this, the suspension travel is the same as in the legendary 80th model. But when you hit the asphalt, these stabilizers will clamp the suspension and the car will be controlled better. Well, of course, better than the Toyota of the 80th model or the 200th model, but not better than, for example, than the Volkswagen Touareg. In general, I always compare the Volkswagen Touareg V8 with the Land Cruiser. I always like the Touareg V8 with its powerful engine, 900 newtons of torque and the ability to travel on the autobahn at a speed of 225 km per hour, while still remaining controllable. Naturally Land Cruiser can't do that. But the truth is, and Touareg can do all this only until the end of the warranty, then some malfunctions may occur and Land Cruiser will continue to not be able to do all this for 10, 20 and 30 years. And this is probably the main difference between Toyota and the German auto industry. The dynamics of the GR and the Premium are really impressive. When you put the Sport Plus mode, press full throttle, you get the impression that you are inside a large freight elevator and it suddenly broke off. But the feeling of overclocking and overclocking itself are often different concepts. According to the Passport, the diesel version of the car, V6 with a 3.3-liter engine, with double sequential turbocharging and a 10-speed gearbox, should accelerate to 100 km per hour in 6.9 seconds. But in reality, everything looks a little more modest. We got a result of 8.5 seconds. And what's the news from this 3.5-liter V6 petrol version with twin turbocharged turbines in each bank of cylinders? There was a technical failure here and we can rely on the data of colleagues from Infocar, who got 7.7 .7 seconds. And according to the passport it should be 6.8 seconds. When it comes to fuel consumption, the Toyota Land Cruiser is a living meme that can only be filled up if you turn off the car at a gas station. It must be admitted that the jokes did not appear from scratch. I remember very well how the Land Cruiser of the 100 series calmly consumed 25 liters of gasoline per 100 kilometers. And we haven't moved yet. And despite the fact that times are changing, and the V8 has been reduced to a V6, our fuel partner of the CLO network of metropolitan gas stations has not been easy to survive a two-week romance with a gasoline and diesel version of the car. But let's move on to the numbers. With the cruise control on at a speed of 90 km per hour, the diesel Land Cruiser consumes from 8 to 8.1 liters. At a speed of 130 km per hour, the consumption increases to a value of 12.7 to 13 liters. The petrol version consumes 9.5 to 9.6 liters at a speed of 90 km per hour, and 14.4 to 14.6 liters at a speed of 130 km per hour. Regarding driving in urban mode, a diesel engine is more economical than a liter by two, and the gasoline version is able to show consumption of 15 and 17 liters, but definitely not 25. This is progress. If I have any complaints about the Land Cruiser cabin, well, 
Probably this primarily applies to the instrument panel. Here we have a monitor, it is color, but at the same time, traditionally for Toyota, information is presented in the style of an explosion at a Macron factory. Because all this data is scattered around the monitor, it looks like it is in a chaotic order. I would like the information presentation structure to be more similar to the German one, more understandable and look like a square nest, without all this eclecticism, and without the traditional Mobius loop. Mobius. There were also many complaints from journalists and bloggers about the glove box lid. That the glove box doesn't close tightly. There is a backlash, there are some moves, and this is shame and disgrace. But here I am ready to argue, because I believe that this is all done so that this cover does not creak on off-road. And so that on off-road you can open this glove box when the car is completely hung out. And at the same time, even taking into account the backlash, I don't hear absolutely any squeaks in the Land Cruiser. If you want to know what I mean. In many German cars, such a creak appears even with the fact that the glove compartment lid fits snugly. Perhaps, by the way, this is the reason for this. Land Cruiser is a warm car. Here, both heating and ventilation of the seats can work in automatic mode. The heated steering wheel is powerful, which, in principle, can cause first-degree burns. And besides, right now I see that we also have a heated windshield. Naturally, our car is spacious, there is a lot of space here, there is a very wide rectangular tunnel, an excellent armrest that opens in a very original way. However, like all armrests, for example, in Lexus cars, inside you can see a refrigerator. This is also an additional argument in favor of this car. There's induction charging, there's an electric handbrake, and a whole lot of other stuff that propels the old-fashioned Land Cruiser into the 21st century. Now, I also really like these rectangular features in Toyota. I even like the explanation of the developers that this straight horizontal line is an excellent off-road indicator. When you understand how far you can see the horizon and at what angle your car is located and you do not need to install any additional device for this. Ok, I accept this explanation. The car has excellent sound insulation. We have double glazing here and the active noise cancellation system also works. At the same time, you will not always be satisfied with this very spring suspension. Or rather, at the start, you will not be satisfied with this spring suspension, because small bumps, on some shallow pits, it will seem to you that the car, you know, because the meat jelly shudders with your whole body. And it brings you some discomfort. And people advise it. There is such a giant frame, there is such a high profile of the wheels, there are such huge shock absorbers, there is such a powerful suspension. Why don't we drive through these small pits as usual? You will get the answer when you drive off-road. Because there, with the complete absence of roads and with the maximum number of some giant pits, you will drive just as comfortably as on asphalt. Rather, get the very minimum discomfort. And this is a real miracle that Land Cruiser guarantees you. This year, the legendary SUV turns 70 years old. Especially for this date, I got acquainted with the demographic situation in Japan. So, there is a very high probability that the engineers and journalists who created and tested the first Land Cruiser are still in business. Because in Japan today there are more than 80,000 citizens aged 100 years old. In 2030, children will look at the Land Cruiser as I now look at pictures of the German mouse tank. At the same time, I whispered to myself, oh my god. At the same time, it is obvious that the Land Cruiser forever inscribed itself with fiery letters in the Old Testament car. Amen.